In this video, I will show you 5 simple yet impressive text animations you can create in DaVinci Resolve. Perfect for leveling up your videos or impressing your clients. We are now inside DaVinci Resolve and here are the 5 text animations I will be showing you how to create. Let's start by creating a new 60fps timeline to make sure our animations look super smooth. Now add a fusion composition to your timeline and open it up in the fusion page. Start by adding a background node and connect it to the media out. Next bring in a text plus node, merge it with the background and type in your custom text. Pick any font you like, this is completely up to your style. Move the playhead to frame 20 because that's where we want our animation to end. Now right click in the text area where you typed your title and select follower from the drop down. Head over to the modifiers tab then into the shading section. First keyframe the opacity, don't change the value yet, just add a keyframe. Now scroll down to the position section and keyframe both offset x and offset y. Jump back to frame 0 where our animation begins. Bring the Y offset down to something like minus 0.59 and turn the opacity all the way down. Then go to the timing tab, change the order from automatic to left to right and set the delay to 2.0 for that smooth cascading effect. Next go to the tools tab, click on settings, enable motion blur and bump up the shutter angle for a more dynamic look. Once that's done, open the spline tab, select everything and hit the fit button to see all your keyframes. Now press ctrl a to select all the points, right click go to ease and choose out cubic. This will smooth out the animation as it ends. And that's our first clean cinematic text animation done. Now it's time for the second text animation. Just like before, add a new fusion composition and open it inside the fusion page. Add a background node, merge a text plus node, type your text, pick a font. This setup is same for all the animations, so I won't repeat it every time. For this one, we will animate two separate words, so we will need two text nodes. But before that, let's use a temporary reference text node to help with positioning. Add a text node with both words, video editing, just to align everything properly. Now go to the shading tab and turn down its opacity so it stays as a faint reference in the background. Next, add a new text node for the first word, video, and position it using the reference. Then duplicate it, change the second one to editing, and position it as well using the same guide. Once both are perfectly placed, delete the reference text, we don't need that anymore. Now let's animate these two individually. Starting with video. Move the playhead to frame 20, go to the layout tab and keyframe X and Y position, Z rotation and size. Then go back to frame 0 and tweak all those values to create the starting motion. Offset the position and add some Z rotation and reduce the size. Also animate the opacity. At frame 20, keep it fully visible. At frame 0, set the opacity to 0 in the shading tab. Finally, enable motion blur and increase the shutter angle for added smoothness. Now for editing. This one is easier. At frame 20, keyframe its Y position and opacity. Turn the Y position down and opacity to 0. This is its starting point. Then go to frame 35 and bring the opacity back up and reset the Y position to where it should settle. Again, don't forget to enable motion blur here too. To wrap it all up, go into the spline tab, select all keyframes, hit fit, then ctrl A, right click and choose out cubic. Same smoothing process as before. And that completes the second text animation. Now on to the third text animation and this one's super easy. As usual, start by adding a fusion composition and open it inside the fusion page. Same setup, add a background node, then a text plus node and connect everything. Now move the playhead to frame 25. Go to the layout tab and keyframe the x and y positions. Then head over to the shading tab and keyframe the opacity as well. Now jump back to frame 0. This is where the animation starts. Bring the y position down to where you want the text to slide up from. Then turn the opacity all the way down so it fades in as it slides. And just like that, the base animation is done. Now let's polish it up. Go to the settings tab of the text node, enable motion blur and increase the shutter angle for that cinematic smoothness. Want to add a cool flickering effect? Press ctrl plus space, type flick flicker edition and bring in the flicker edition node. Connect it after the text node. Now tweak the flicker settings to get the intensity and frequency you want. Totally up to your style. To finish it off, open the spline tab, fit everything, select all keyframes, ctrl A, right click and apply out cubic to smoothen the motion. And that's it for the third text animation. Clean, simple and stylish. 
All right, time for the fourth and second last text animation. Start by adding a fusion composition, opening it in the fusion page and doing the usual step, background node, the basics. But this one's a bit more advanced, just a little, nothing too crazy. First, add another background node, merge it and change its color to something lighter, maybe a soft blue. This will be our diamond shape. Now apply a rectangle mask to this background and reshape it into a square. Then go to the angle setting of the mask and rotate it to 45 degrees. Now you have got a diamond. You can tweak the mask with or height if it's not looking sharp enough. To control its animation, add a transform node after the background. Shrink the size a bit and move it to the left side of the frame. This is where our diamond starts. Now bring in your text plus node, customize the text however you like and position it neatly on the right side of the diamond. Let's animate the diamond first. Move the playhead to frame 35. In the transform node, keyframe X and Y position, size and angle. Now go back to frame 0 and change Y position, move it downward. Size, scale it down. Angle, set it to minus 270 for that dramatic spin effect. Also, animate the opacity using the rectangle mask on the diamond. So it fades in with style. Now for the text reveal animation, add a rectangle mask to your text node. Resize and reposition it so it cleanly covers the text. It's okay if there's a bit of space around. Adjust the corner radius and soft edge if needed for a smoother look. We will animate the mask to reveal the text as the diamond appears. Go to frame 20 and keyframe the X and Y position of the mask. Move the X position left so the text is fully hidden. Then jump to frame 50 and move the mask X position right to reveal the text fully. Finally, polish everything. Add motion blur to both the transform node and the text rectangle mask. Increase the shutter angle for the slick movement. Head to the spline tab, fit all keyframes, select everything, control A, right click and choose ease out cubic for smooth easing. And one optional thing you can do is add a glow effect to the diamond. It adds that extra cinematic touch and makes the animation pop. And that wraps up the fourth text animation. Clean, dynamic and visually striking. Time for the fifth and final text animation. Let's finish strong. As always, start by adding a fusion composition. Open it in the fusion page and bring in a background node and a text plus node. This time, I am keeping the text short and simple, just editing. Now let's create a background for the text. Add another background node behind the text. Pick a color that fits your style. I am going with blue. Apply a rectangle mask to shape it into a clean background that fits nicely behind the text. Step 1. Animate the text. Move the playhead to frame 20. In the layout tab, keyframe the X and Y position. Then go to the shading tab and keyframe the opacity. Now go back to frame 0 and move the Y position down so the text slides in from below. Turn the opacity to 0 so it fades in as well. Don't forget to add motion blur and increase the shutter angle. Step 2. Animate the background reveal. We will animate the background after the text starts coming in. At frame 20, add a rectangle mask to the background node. Make sure it's connected to the merge node. Then animate the exposition of this mask. This will make the background slide in smoothly from the side, revealing itself just after the text appears. Final polish. Add motion blur to the background as well. Head into the spline tab, select all your keyframes and apply ease out cubic for that final smooth finish. And that's it, the fifth and final text animation, clean, modern and super useful. And that's a wrap for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to check out all the free ebooks I have written for you. The links are waiting for you in the description. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.